Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Pixel Watch. Let's get started. All right, to start first you need to turn on your Pixel Watch and to do that you're just going to press and hold on the crown. When you see the logo you can let go and while this is turning on you want to make sure that you have everything you need for this installation so first you need to have your pixel phone nearby and you also want to have your google account already set up it'll just make things easier so if you haven't set up a google account with your pixel phone try to do that first or you'll be prompted to create one or skip that step during the installation once the watch turns on you'll hear a chime and you'll see a prompt on the pixel phone and it's asking us to go to the Google Play Store. There are a few things we have to install. So we're just gonna tap on that and it's gonna ask us to install the Google Pixel Watch app, which we'll do. So we'll tap install. And this is why you need your Google account already set up. If you don't, you won't be able to add this application. From here, you just wanna ensure that the two pin numbers from the phone and the watch match. If they don't, tap wrong pin. Otherwise, tap confirm. From here, you're gonna to choose to allow or don't allow the Google Pixel Watch to send you notifications. I choose to have that on. And then we'll go through some of the terms of service here. So the first one is the usage and diagnostic reports. You can leave this checked if you wanna help improve Wear OS. It's going to send some diagnostics to Google. Otherwise, you can uncheck that. I usually uncheck that. The second one is location. So if you wanna have your location being used with various applications with the watch, you're gonna leave that on. And then the last one here is just letting you know that your watch may automatically download and install updates. If you're happy with this, agree. And then it'll start to connect your watch. So that took about 15 seconds and you can see it's telling us to continue on our phone. Now we have our Google account already set up here so we can use that account right here by tapping next. You can also skip this step if you'd like. We're going to tap next to use that Google account and then we're going to use our fingerprint to confirm this or you can use a pin here. So we're going to use our fingerprint and it's going to sign in. So that again took about 15 to 20 seconds and now we'll tap next. From here you can put on your watch and then tap next and it's going to go through the watch orientation and how you want it set up. So it's best that you have it on. I already know where I want mine so I'm just going to leave it on the stand here. So choose the wrist you have the watch on where it's most comfortable and where the crown is. So for me, it's the left wrist with the crown on the right side. So I'm gonna tap next. Now here is a tutorial on how to switch the bands. By default, the band's already on, but you can tap next here to see how you can put these different bands on. And if you do have trouble, there's a link in the description to a video that I've put together on how to switch out bands. And then you can tap install here. And I strongly recommend you install this Fitbit app as it's heavily used with pretty much all the fitness capabilities of this watch. And in this step here, we're going to set up the Google Assistant if you'd like. Otherwise, tap skip, but we will set it up, so we'll tap set up. Again, 15 seconds or so, and we're on the section here where we can start to set up our Google Assistant. So we're gonna scroll down and tap I agree. And now we're going to activate voice match on this watch. Now you can skip this if you don't want any of these options. Again, you can always change these in your settings. So it's just giving you an idea here of how it works and then tap I agree. Now it's just giving us an example on how we can access our assistant. So by pressing on the secondary button here and holding, or you can use the command right here. Now it didn't prompt me to go through the whole set up to use that voice command because I've already had it set up prior on the phone. It may prompt you to go through a few more steps like saying, hey, you know who, what's the weather so that it can recognize your voice. If it does, go through those steps and then once you're on this page, you can tap next. All right, we'll tap continue. And now you can set a lock on your watch if you'd like. Now you can choose a pin or a pattern. I don't really use this with my watch, but if you do wanna have an extra layer of protection, you can tap on those right here. It'll prompt you right here to set up your pattern. So for example, we'll just put a seven in there. And now you'll have this pattern. That way, if somebody grabs your watch, they won't be able to just use it or see what's going on. As for the Google Wallet, this is a good feature if you like to pay for things using your devices. We're gonna skip this just because there's too much personal information, but you can set it up and go through those steps. I'm gonna tap skip for now. 
And from here you can select apps for your watch. So you have the apps that are already installed on the watch right there. You can tap the little arrow to see if there's more. Now, like I said, this is the fresh Pixel 7 Pro, so there really isn't much on here. So that's why we're only seeing two applications. So I'm good if both of those applications are going to be installed. And then you have some recommended for watches. And if we tap this little option here, you can see some applications that you can pre-install right now so that when the watch is set up, you have them already. So for me, I can just choose maybe one of these for the example. Let's use my fitness pal here. I use that actually, so that's a good one. And then tap continue. From here, you can stay connected on the go. So if you have LTE set up with your carrier, you can go through the setup process here. We don't have that yet, so we're gonna tap not now. And it's gonna go through the process of updating the watch. And you can see the watch is restarting here. This may take a while, so you may have to wait for your watch to go through the update process. We'll see how it goes right here. While it's doing that, you can see the top features. You can tap done on screen of your phone. And then from here, you're in your watch app where you can see if it's connected. You can also see what features you have. And if you wanna open the Fitbit app and see your fitness abilities as well, and you can see, you can scroll down to everything you can do with this watch. Now the watch itself is going to restart. And just like at the beginning, it should take about 30 seconds. Once the watch turns back on, for me, I have that passcode, so I'm gonna to have to enter it in. And now it's starting my watch up. So we'll just uh, enter it one more time. And you can change those features. That's one of the reasons why I don't like having a passcode. It's just so annoying to always have to do that. So now you can learn how to use your watch here. Otherwise, tap the X. We're not going to do that. And now the watch is set up. You can see it's connected on our Pixel 7 Pro. And then you can start using the watch, your Fitbit app. You can use some of the features within it modify things, download more applications to your watch. It's totally up to you, but if you're looking to learn more about the Pixel Watch and the Pixel 7 Pro, there's links in the description to the full playlists of how to use these two devices so you can get the most out of them. But this was how to set up the Pixel Watch. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.